Yeah, hi everyone. Good morning. Am I audible? Good morning. Yes. Yes, yes, I'm just sharing my screen. So is everybody shared your contact details to my mail ID? Anurag. Uh, like if anybody not shared your contact details, so please share your contact details to this mail ID. Service now training. 2018 at the rate of gmail.com. Okay, this is my WhatsApp number. Can you put it in the chat window, please? Uh, yeah. Just copying this. Uh, yes, uh, I, should, uh, I just put it on chat. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Shatish, have you shared your details? Victoria. Said mm, you shared the details already. Ashok. Okay. So in today's class, we are going to... Yes, yes tell, me. yes, tell me, Victoria. Well, I, I thought you mentioned my name. I actually sent my contact to you, right? Did you see my, my I uh, information? No, I haven't seen. Maybe I will check after the class, okay? Wow, I sent it the day you asked us to send it. I, I can actually forward it to you again. Okay, okay. Are you able to access to Google Drive videos and class uh, notes mail? No, I haven't. Okay. Maybe, yeah, maybe I haven't received uh, uh, even yeah. email. You can resend the details. Okay? Yeah, we will. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, in today's class, we are going to discuss about introduction. What is service now? So what is the history of service now? Okay, we are going to discuss. You can see. Service now is a ticketing tool. Service now is a ticketing tool. So whenever it introduced it to the market, so whenever the service now was introduced to market, it is a ticketing tool. Okay. We can note down all these points. Service now is a Service now is a ticketing tool. So service now started from 2004. Service now started from 2004. Okay. And service now was invented by Fred Lurie. Service now was invented by Fred Lurie. Fred Lurie. Okay. So basically, Fred Lurie worked for BMC Remedy almost 20 years. Okay. So how the Fred Lurie got start to implement service now? Okay. So initially, Fred Lurie worked at BMC Remedy for 20 years. Then he got an idea. So, we have to implement a tool better than BMC Remedy. Advanced to BMC Remedy. Okay. So, we can note down these two points. But Ludi worked at BMC Remedy for 20 years. Okay. Next. 
Fred Lode has yet taken a decision to develop a tool more advanced than BMC remedy that is service now. Okay. Fred Lode has taken a decision to develop a more advanced system to BMC remedy. Okay. That is service. Okay, that is service. So basically, after Fred Doody working in BMC Remedy for 20 years, he joined in service now. Okay. And he developed a tool and they kept the name for the tool is service now. They kept the name for the tool is service now. Okay. And then... Whenever service now was started in 2004, it, st it starts with ITSM2, okay? So, um, service now was started from 2004 with ITSM tool. It started from 2004 with ITSM tool, okay? Service now is started from 2004 with ITSM tool. Then, service now company started service now tool internally. So, you can see if we develop something internally within the organization, first who will use right within the organization. In the same fashion, service now company started using this service now tool internally. Then after they started giving the service now tool to their clients. Okay. And they got good response from their clients. Then service now started giving this service now tool to external clients. Okay. To the external clients who are not part of their customers. Okay. With ITSM tool. Then after service now company started implementing different modules based upon the industry, based upon the domain. Okay. This is the history. We can note down these points. So you can see service now company started using service now internally. Okay, using service now internally. Then after some time, service now giving service now tool to their customers. And they got good response from the customers they got good response from the customers okay so if we if we get uh, positive feedback from our existing customers then what is our next steps definitely we will provide our system to external clients Okay, service now also did same thing. Okay, after getting good response uh, from their customers. So, service now started giving service now tool to outside customers. Okay, so um, service now started giving service now tool to outside the customers. Out 
outside from December 2011. You can see. So, service now started giving service now tool to outside customers or outside in the market. So, basically, service now release service now tool into the market in 2011. Okay, in 2011. So, internally, initially, service now came out with ITSM2. You can see so even uh, uh, in 2004 also it came with ITSM2. Okay, initially, service now came out to the market with ITSM2. Okay, so initially service now came out with the ITSM tool and we are calling it as it as service now tool, service now ticketing tool, we can say service now ticketing tool or service now tool, anything is fine. Then, so you can say, in nowadays, we are in competitive market, okay? So, service now initially started with ITSM, okay? So, then after, service now started implementing multiple models based upon the market, based upon the market, service now started multiple models. And now within the service now, we have many modules, okay? Now within the service now, we have many modules like ITSM, ITOM, ITBM, HRST, GSV, CSM, FSM, SecOps, Performance Analytics, ITAM, HAM, SAM, okay, like this, we have many modules. So within the organization, so based upon the requirement, we will use all those modules, okay? If anybody new to service now, just started with service now, first module we have to learn is ITSM. For other models, in your organization, if you get requirement, definitely they will provide you the KT if you don't know about the model. And you will start working on those models, okay? And in our training sessions, uh, uh, mostly we will cover ITSM model. And only ITSM model is required for, for with three plus years of experience as of now, okay? So we can note down these points. So after some time, So you can say after some time, service now started implementing different modules within the service now tool. Within the service now tool. Okay. So we are calling service now is a platform. So we are calling as in service now. We are calling service now is a platform. Now you can see, like generally, I will hear uh, in the outside. So I am learning service now to. I'm working on the service now tool. Definitely, I can say service calling as service now is a tool. It's a wrong word. Okay, don't use that. 
service now is a platform service now is a platform it contains a different modules based upon the industries based upon the domains we are working for okay don't say service now is a tool <laughs> so in initial days whenever service now was started in initial days a service now is a tool so after service now started implementing different modules so within the service now we are calling it as a service now is a platform okay don't use a tool the keyword tool you can instead of that we have to use platform service now platform so any queries from this introduction and latest version of service now is latest version of service now is xnadu the latest version is xnadu x xnadu yeah this is the latest version Okay. X A N A D U. Latest version of service now is X Nard. So, uh, uh, team, so do you remember that? And last class, I have upgraded my service now instance. Okay. Do you remember that? So you can see now it is X Nadu. Earlier I have received a Washington DC service now instance. Okay, previous to this X Nadu. Now it is showing X Nadu. And I'm clicking on start building. So on that day, I have changed user ID and password, right? So I have given user IDs by default admin for everybody. So this is uh, my password for this service now instance. Okay. Yes, we are able to log in into the system successfully. We are able to log into the system successfully. Okay we have logged into the system successfully now what i am doing for example so i have changed my instance password and i forgot uh, the instance password i don't remember for example i don't remember what password i kept then how to proceed with uh, uh, again changing the password okay yes i have changed password for my instance but I don't, after some time, I don't remember which password I have given. Then again, how to reset your password. Okay. You can come to this developer.servicenow.com. You can come to this developer.servicenow.com. Okay. Here I am, I'm trying to log out now. Here I am trying to log out now. Okay. Now I forgot the password. Uh, so I'm trying to log in, but I'm not able to log in now. Okay. I'm just coming to this uh, service now developer uh, website service now developers website here you can see manage instance password manage instance password i'm just clicking on manage instance password manage instance password and so basically we already changed the password to training at the rate of 100 so this password will not work out because we, we, we already changed the password. Then what I have to do, reset instance password. Here you can see the option, reset instance password. I'm just clicking on reset instance password. It's loading. It, it, it will generate a new password for us. It, it will generate a new password for us. Yes, you can see. Earlier, the password starts with Y. Now it is different. I am just copying this password to my notepad for reference. Yes. I just reset. I just reset my password. Okay. I just resetted my password for service now instance. My service now instance. 
this is new password generator now you can come and we can try to log in with uh, uh, training at the rate of one two three password okay admin password t r t r a i n i n g at the rate of one two three so you can say i have given correct password t r a i n i n g at the rate of one two three i'm trying to log in what happening what happening i am not able to log in because in the service now developers website i have uh, reset the password okay i have reset the password whatever the old password i have modified that will not work so after after resetting the password from this developer options okay so we just need to use this password ph at the rate 12TKLEN. I'm just copying this and in password field, I'm pasting it. Okay. And username always admin. I'm just logging here. Okay. So now I want to change my password. Now I want to change my password within the instance. You can come to here and you can click on this prof profile icon. You can click on this profile icon. Then you can click on profile. Here you are able to see the link called profile. Yes, I'm clicking on profile. Yes, I just clicked on the profile. Okay. And here you are able to see change password. Here you are able to see change password okay you just click on the change password change password yes you can click on old password yeah this is our old password okay old password means this one recently what are the password we are using recently that is old password okay yes i just given this old password a new password yeah maybe i am again giving training at the rate of one to three T R A I N I N D at the rate of one three. Student, same here also I will provide same password. T R A I N I N D rate of one three. Okay, change password. I'm just clicking on change password. It will take one to two minutes time to change the password. Uh, meanwhile, if you have any queries, please ask me. Yes, you are up, you are current. Uh, so you can see change password success, change password success. We can try to log in with our latest password. I'm just logging out here. And username is I'm giving admin. Password T R A I M I N D at the rate of one to three. Login. I'm just logging. Okay. Uh, this is how we have to change the password. Maybe I will write the steps. Okay. Mm, click on profile icon. Click on profile icon. At top right corner, right? Then click on profile. Then click on profile. Right. Then click on profile. So after clicking on profile, you can click on change password link. Okay. This is the path. Click on profile icon at top right corner. Then click on profile link. Then you are able to see the change password link. You have to provide your uh, existing password. Then you have to enter your new password. Uh, any queries from here? Any queries? Next. We can see uh, last time we have verified uh, our current instance password from some shortcut, right? 
S T A T S stats dot two. Now again, I'm trying. You can see. On that day, here we have seen Washington DC. Now we are seeing X Nadu. Now we are seeing X Nadu. Okay. Yes. Uh, any queries up to here? Please let me know. Here, maybe I will pass for one or two minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, tell me. Uh, yes, tell me uh, your queries. No queries, sir. Okay, no queries. Then we are good. Next. Yeah, no, is the first class? Uh, yeah, Shatish, uh, I think uh, you are right. So this is third class. Okay. And in first two classes, we just discussed about basic things like uh, it is not an important, I can say, like what is service now, why we have to use service now, how to create service now instance, how to change a password. I hope most of the things repeated in today class also, whatever we discussed in previous two classes. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, so I will provide recorded videos. Uh, you just need okay, to thanks. send uh, uh, your okay. details, like your mail ID okay. and WhatsApp number. Then you will get that Done. detail. Okay. Done. Done. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Next, user interface. Next concept is user interface. Again, we will discuss introduction. So basically, what is user interface? A light... If you are working in some organization, maybe your team lead or maybe your client uh, will come to you and he will say something. Uh, you, you can go to the left navigation. Uh, you can open uh, instance, for example, like this. And if they are saying something, you have to understand, right, what exactly he is asking for. And in within the user interface, we can layer and which area what we are calling okay which area what we are calling within the service now instance okay now you can come so so you can say i will uh, just uh, uh, select the areas and i will tell what, what what we are calling as so this area this selected area this area we are calling as banner frame this area we are calling as banner frame. This area we are calling as banner frame. You can see within the banner frame, within the banner frame. Okay, we have again we have different options. Mm. So this is instance logo. This is instance logo. This is instance logo. This is application navigation menu. This is all, here we have all right. This is application navigation menu. This we are calling as application navigation. Menu. This is favorites. If we make anything as a favorite, we, we are we are able to see that in the favorites. Now you can come. Maybe I will make something on favorites. So incident. Maybe incident create me. I'm keeping as my favorite. Okay. So maybe all also I'm keeping as favorite. So maybe like whatever the applications or modules we will use regularly, we will navigate regularly. So we will make it as a favorite. So you can see, you can see incident create me. I, I just make as a favorite incident. All, I just make as a favorite. Then you are able to see within the favorites. Okay. Next history. You can click on history. So this history will show us where we have navigated within the instance. So you remember, right, for changing a password, so you can see we have uh, navigated to change password. We have navigated to this profile, user profile. And we also open stats dot do. So that is also showing here, okay? So wherever we are now navigating within the service now instance, it will show within the history. Okay, next workspaces. So 
So basically, we have different workspaces within the organization. You are able to see all the workspaces here. Okay. And we have here three dots. And this will tell us where we are. This will tell us where we are. Uh, do are we in our system admin or are, are we in application manager? This will tell. And whatever the page we are opening. So that page record number, that page record name will display here. Okay. Next. This is a global search. We are calling it as a global search. Okay. If you enter any keyword here, if you enter any keyword here. So whatever the key for key keyword found within that service now tables. Okay, wherever that keyword found within the service now tables, this will retrieve all the records with that keyword. It will retrieve all the records with that keyword. Okay, this is a global search. This we are calling as a this we are calling as a globe icon. This we are calling as a globe icon. Within the globe icon, you can able to see the application scope and update set. We are able to see the application scope and update set. We are able to see application scope and update set. This is support chat. This is support chat. We want to communicate to somebody or if somebody sent a message, we are able to see here. Okay. This is support chat. And this is help icon. This is help icon. You can from this help icon, you are able to navigate to and now community or docs.servicenow.com website. Okay. This is a notification icon. So if we receive any notifications, you are able to see here. If you receive any notification, you are able to see here. Okay. So I'm just repeating the banner frame. I'm just repeating the banner frame. One minute. Again, I'm taking no. So this is the banner frame. So in the within the banner frame, we have different different options. Uh, wait. Uh, the uh, this is service now logo. Okay. Uh, this is application navigation menu. Okay. This is favorites. History, workspaces, okay. Global search. This is global search, okay. If you want to find out uh, some records with that particular keyword, if we enter that keyword here, we will retrieve all the results. Next, this is globe icon. Within this globe icon, you are able to see the application scope and update set. We are able to see application scope and updates it. Uh, this is support chat. Uh, this is help icon. This is help icon. Uh, this is notification icon. This is user profile icon. Okay. These are the different options in the banner frame. These are the different options in the banner frame. Like any queries from banner frame, tell me. We'll discuss. Any queries from banner frame? Okay, no queries, then we are good. Next. So below to that banner frame, below to that banner frame, we are calling it as content frame. Below to that banner frame, we are calling it as content frame. We are able to see, we are able to see all the content within this area. We are able to see all the content within this area. This we are calling as content frame. 
this area we are calling as content frame okay next so i'm just clicking on this all i'm just clicking on this all wait 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 so i'm just clicking on this all so this area we are calling a application navigator application navigation application navigation frame or application navigation or we can say left frame we can also call it as left frame so if we click on this pin all menu if we click on this pin it will stick to left side it will stick to left side if we remove this pin if we remove this pin then when you whenever we are clicking on all then only it will appear if you want to keep this menu left side you just click on pin okay always it will be there in the left side this area this entire left side area we are calling as application navigation frame application navigation frame this area we are calling as application navigation frame or application navigation menu a a any we can call application navigation menu or application navigation frame we are calling as okay so within this application navigation frame so this we are calling as application navigation search application navigation search this we are calling it as application navigation search okay and within this application navigation search we can able to search only applications and modules okay here we only search applications and modules here only search applications and modules so this is a global search here you can search any keyword and based upon that keyword you are entered here you will get the results here you are able to search for only for application and module these are the applications and modules so here you can see self service now this is application under self service now we have many things so these are the modules again i am opening some other application uh, access analyzer you can see this access analyzer is a uh, application under that access analyzer these are the modules okay for example app engine this app engine is application under this app engine we have many modules uh, many many things so these these are we are calling as a modules okay and yeah team uh, this meeting will end in one minute so please rejoin again with the same meeting id and every day we have to follow same okay for 40 minutes so basically i am using free zoom subscription uh, for taking zoom subscription uh, we need credit card uh, currently i don't have credit card actually okay i lost my credit card the previously and uh, i have applied for it but i haven't received yeah that is fine no issues we have to join for every 40 minutes okay this meeting will end in one minute you can rejoin again with the same meeting ending every day we will follow the same